if we don't pray, the enemy will attack the organs of the boy. How old is the boy? Ten months. Ten months. The boy is sick. The boy is sick because spiritually, the boy has been injected. Everybody stretch out your hands. Because if you don't pray, the Lord says they will try to let the boy die before the first birthday. Let's stretch out your hands. Stretch out your hands. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Mommy, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I'm taking cancer from your, your life. I'm taking cancer from your life. Come right now. Come. 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 Why? Why? Come. Why? Do no hair. Come. Shh. Do no hair. Do no hair. Who is it to you? They are your pastor. They are your, who is your pastor? Your pastor. There is attack of cancer against this woman. Why? What, what is happening to her? What is happening to her? She's going to chemotherapy now. Jesus. Because I saw this woman in a hospital and the doctors have diagnosed her of cancer. And the Lord says if you don't pray, this woman was going to die on the 15th of August. 15th of August. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Come and let me pray for you. What do you do? What? Come. Come. Because I saw cancer. Ah. Sit down and let's have church. Sit down, sit down, sit down and let's have church. He said, come to pray for the boy right now. Okay. Jesus, how long have you been going to the chemo? I've done my uh, third round. I've third round now. I've Jesus. Because, because the Lord says, what they are doing, they are not, you are not getting results. And if you don't pray, I see the cancer spreading. The cancer is spreading. The Lord is saying to me that the cancer... It's a curse in your family. And the Lord says, a curse was pronounced in their family 500 years ago. And the Lord says, the cancer of the 500 curse in the family is that people will die premature. And cancer will take off their lives. But when, when I was ministering and I went there, the Lord said, Daniel, tell my daughter she will not die. Oh, 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 oh somebody clap your hands. The Lord says she will not die. As we are clapping, you 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 will not die. Sister, come to me. Come to me. Give me a chair. 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 Can't all about Shia. Give me a chair. Sitting on it right now. Listen, cancer is about to leave her body now. I said cancer is about to leave her body now. Jesus. Hey, say Jesus. Say Jesus. I see a big key that has been given to this man. A key, a big key that has been put in your hand. And the key is opening doors. The Lord says he has made you a gatekeeper. And you open doors for people to enter. Because God will cause you to open doors for people to enter. I saw that the people that the doors were open and they entered. Some of them were trying to shut the door behind you. There are people you've been good to who are trying to be evil to you. The Lord says don't look at what they have done. He has given you that assignment. The key has been given to you. God says you are a record breaker in your family. A record breaker in your society. And you will change what has been rewritten. Because something new is being started in your life. The Lord says what was brought and planned to come to your life to bring you down. Today, the Lord says it has left your life. Nothing will block you. Nothing will bring you down. That's what the Lord is saying to you that of late. You felt you were in front of a brick wall. You couldn't move. You couldn't go backwards. The Lord said to me that the key has come to your hands. What became difficult after today is going to become easy. After today, God says he is going to provide for you. Because the spirit of God has visited you. And the Lord says he is with you. The Lord says assignment is not ended. 
there are a lot you will do because the key has been given to you. The next three Sundays, this Sunday, the next Sunday, and the third Sunday, make it a days that you will fast around 12. You finish your fasting any moment from 12 noon going and say, Oh Lord Jesus, I take hold of my key. On the third Sunday, look for $88 and give it out to a homeless person. The Lord says that's the end of your crisis. Oh, 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 the way you are clapping. The way you are clapping, I can't feel you. The way you are clapping, I can't feel you. <sighs> g g give me the bow. Give me the bow there. Sister, where is Elisha? At home. At home. Who is taking care of Elisha? My nephew, Jay. Jeremiah. Do you know something? Do you know, do, do you know what, what, I'm, what I'm seeing right now? I've entered into where, where Elisha is. I've entered there right now. And the Lord says, angels are going to perform a surgery on Elisha now. Angels are going to perform a surgery now. Because the Lord says the devil is afraid of that boy. So the devil wants to cause that boy to have complications so that it will stop your assignment you are supposed to do. But the Lord says we should pray for the boy now. Because the reason why I ask you who is with Elisha now is that because I saw a boy that was standing by Elisha. And the boy standing by Elisha is called Jeremiah Johnson. Yeah. What's the name? Jeremiah Johnson. Spiritually, the Lord is ministering to me that Jeremiah Johnson will also be a great preacher. Yeah, he's, the nephew I raised. he's the nephew you raised. He's going to be a great preacher. He will speak the word of God. The world will hear about him. But we need to pray for him against car crash. Because spiritually, the devil is not happy because the boy is going to break some family records. And that's why that battle wants to happen. But the angels are doing the operation right now on, on um, Elisha now. The angels are performing the surgery. Father, I give a praise. 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 Let there be surgery. Let there be the surgery. Let there be the surgical operation. Hold this for me. Hold this for me. Jesus. Take off her spectacles for me. Sister, today your story has changed. You will do the work of God with easiness and clarity. God will put his mighty hand over your life. Nothing will stop you. As you are going to minister drugs unto people, the Lord says in his house, you shall minister drugs. And the drugs you minister to people will be permanent healing, not a temporary healing. The Lord says to me that I should break the spirit of witchcraft that has been fighting you. There are some ladies that used to be your friends and they were witches. And the assignment is to cause you to lose everything that you do. But the Lord says their plans will never succeed. Jesus, give me the oil. Father, I break witchcraft. Fire, go! Break! 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 Somebody shout break! Shout break! Shout break! Ah. Jesus, the moment she fell, I saw S H I M I K E. Johnson. Who is that? Me. Come, come, come. Jesus. I, I, I didn't only see that. If the, if the Johnson is your maiden name, the Lord said there's another name that you have added to your name. I'm talking about Brownfield. 
Listen. Listen to me. In your family, there are attacks in the marriages of people. And the enemy wanted you to be a victim. By you, God sets you apart to break a record. I have spoken and I have prophesied. May you become a record breaker. May you change the laws that have been written in your family. Father, remember your daughter. Remember your daughter. Remember your daughter. Tomorrow and the, and the next days, when you are coming, bring salt to the revival. I will pray on the sword for you. I will show you how to do with it. God will keep you. And when you are coming also, get a mantle. And every day when Elisha is sleeping, put it on Elisha. And say, God, let your covering cover Elisha. The Lord will cause his covering to cover the child. In Jesus' name. Right now. Uh, as I'm talking right now, you've been getting some pains in your lower abdomen. The Lord says that pain is living right now. Let that pain leave you. The pain will return no more in the name of Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 Wow. I don't know. I don't do this. No. These are my mantles. The Lord instructed me to give it to you. Father, this mantle is not for everybody. Jesus, get this mantle. You release a seed for that. When I call for the seed, make sure you are the first person that you come. Okay? Use it and use it in your family. My sister, today has become a new day for you and your whole family. No devil can fight you anymore. You will not lose your child. You will not lose your child. You will not lose your child in Jesus' name. You can go. Amen. Lift up your hand. Sister, the Lord says I should take away headache. Any evil headache, migraine, that has been designed against you. The Lord says you should take it off right now. Let every evil migraine of headache leave you. Now! 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 Let it live your life. Let it live your life. Father, this one is a descendant of you, God. The devil cannot fight her. Jesus. I see a big chain that has tied this sister's neck. Big chain. And that chain is causing this sister to suffocate. You are not of yourself. You are being choked. Life has choked you. Sister, everybody will see you smiling. Sister, the Lord says, you are not happy. Everything about your life is falling down. And you're asking yourself, am I going or am I coming? Say yes, the Lord. The Lord says he has come here to settle the matter. Everything about your life has fallen. Because I see you lying down and people are standing on you. That has been where your life has gotten into. Sister, don't cry. Don't worry. Today I come here as a prophet to change and settle the matter for you. Go and receive the goodness of God. Listen, any evil person in your life that is not good, may God disgrace them. Any evil person, may they be disgraced. Any evil person, may God take any wrong Jacqueline from your life. Any wrong Jacqueline from your life. Young lady, who brought you to the service? Who brought you to the service? I, I came with my mom invited, so, uh, invited you. Mm-hmm. Young lady, do you know something? You have a lot of talent. <laughs> this girl has talent. Do you know what I saw? I saw this girl into something like showbiz and entertainment. <laughs> Come. What do you do? Um, right now, uh, Sometimes I style people. Some, I'm doing. Um, I'm in school right now for pedicuring and manicuring because I do want to go into like the showbiz and do like showbiz and sex. entertainment and those kind of things and movie and th- come. Yeah. <laughs> because the Lord said this girl is supposed to hit Hollywood, <laughs> but there is a curse over her life. Because I saw this girl supposed to. Auntie, don't worry. I'm coming to you. 
listen, I'm coming to you. Give me time. That's how I work. Give me time. Yeah. By the time I finish with you, you are living here cancer free. Yeah. Oh, shout hallelujah. I said she's living here cancer free. My God, Chief Apostle, can somebody bring one chair for Chief Apostle? Chief Apostle, I want you to place it here. The Lord just showed me something. Oh, one chair. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, this one is empty. Okay, I want to sit there. Okay, good. Bring it and sit on my own here. Yeah. Chief Apostle, place it here. Jesus, do you know what I just saw? My God, can, can I prophesy? Prophesy. prophesy? Do you want to go home? How many people want to meet the prophet one on one? Today people came. Make sure today you are part. Okay. Do you know what, what, what I saw? When I was just ministering, I saw that a big angel, the angel is taller than this ceiling, was standing here. And I saw Chief Apostle sitting here and the angel standing by him. And the angel said, As the chief apostle has clothed over 40 years in ministry. He has brought the spirit of longevity on, on this atmosphere. Right. That anything you begin, it will go far. It will not be ended. Chief Apostle, please sit there. Because the angels are doing something. My God. Young lady, you are supposed to hate Hollywood. But spiritually, you have been blocked. You have played with some friends, sister, who were witches. They have taken your name to some voodoo places. I saw that a voodoo priest is carrying a picture and they have written on it Shekina. Who is called Shekina? That's me. Jesus. I see a voodoo priest. He's sitting down now and has put Shekina and he has put. Do no egg, egg. Do no egg. E G G egg. He has taken seven eggs and has smashed the eggs on your photo, and said, "You, your life will go in circles. You will never amount to anything. That is your life. You carry great potential, but you can never show anything forth. People will see you shining." But there is nothing for you to show because everything about your life has fallen down. Because they have put a spell over you. That's why sometimes when you are there, you can hear people calling your name. You turn around, you don't see anybody. The Lord says, anytime she hears that somebody is calling, is calling your name, it's the voodoo priest that is calling your name. And the moment the voodoo priest calls your name, all of a sudden, the voodoo priest will say, this girl will never make it. Shekina will never make it. Shekina, Shekina will not make it. My sister, I'm come to change your destiny tonight. You said? You said? Good. Who said that? The demon, the devil, the voodoo priest. That's what he said. That's what he said. Why were you there? Wow. Yeah. Why are you are you related to her? No. Oh Jesus, no wonder you are crazy now. <laughs> because you are crazy for your daughter. Come. Go. And this your daddy? Sister, do you know something? We need to pray for you. Your life is very short. You felt it. I felt it. You felt it. Yep. Told it to her. I told I mean, it to my cousin. That you think your life is short. Yes. You're going to die. I felt it. Yes. This lady was going to die on the 24th of December. Oh. And the way the death was going to happen was going to happen by suicide. Oh. Young lady, you were suicidal. You felt suicidal. You want to die. You were suicidal. That's what I saw. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Listen, you are going to hear good news. You are going to hear good news. Okay? 
Tomorrow, bring three oranges. I will pray on it for you to take something from your health. I will take something from your health. And number two, I will pray for your legs. There's an attack on your legs that we are supposed to reverse it. Jesus, my God. Everybody listen to me. If this young girl is your sister, or if she's your daughter, we are going to clap like he's your daughter. Because this girl has a short life. It's in front of a voodoo priest, and the voodoo priest is coming from Haiti. But it has been done in New Orleans. But he's originally from Haiti. I've seen his name. The name of the voodoo priest is called Etienne. Mommy, don't worry. I can feel how, how the woman is feeling. Imagine you have a daughter like that. Mommy, this girl has every gift, every quality. Yes. She can do everything. everything. She can do makeup. Yes. She can do hair. Yes. She can do styling. Yes. She can do fashion. Yes. She can do everything. everything. But, but they have taken her photo and they have opened a bottle, a bottle. And they have put her photo in a bottle. And they have covered the bottle. And they have thrown the, what, uh, the bottle into the river. And said, as you have covered you, so will your life be covered. So will your life be covered. Young lady, I need to break this death. I need to break it from you. How many people are ready for us to break this death? Oh, how many people are ready for us to break this death? We can afford for, to let this girl die. I said we can afford to let a voodoo priest let this girl die. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Sit down. Sit down. Don't cry, young lady. Don't cry. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Oh my God. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Listen, listen. Some people are wicked. Some people are wicked. The devil is wicked. They have tied this girl and thrown it into the river. But the Lord says, Daniel, command the angel to go and bring the bottle. Ah. Amen. Before I do that and pray for the woman, the bishop, the chief apostle, is celebrating 40 years in ministry the lord said to me that he needs five people who believe in the ministry of this man five people that believe in the ministry of this man number one five people that this man's ministry has blessed you five people that you want to get longevity in everything you do business your life your health five people come and stand behind him now Five people that his ministry has blessed you. Five people come and stand behind him now. Five people walk to me right now. Five people that you are part. You, you, his ministry has blessed you. Five people come and stand behind him now. Five people come and stand behind him. Five people. Five people. Five people. No, stand behind the chief apostle. Five people. You can come. If you are sitting there, just come. Don't just say because I said five. You are coming as five. Just come. That his ministry has changed your destiny. Come. Come and stand behind him. The Lord says he's about to establish longevity in your life. You are here. You might not be a member of Life City. But you know that this service, God is here. 
the Lord that is working miracles in the life of people, you want the same God to bring you longevity, come and stand behind him. You feel like a deliverance is supposed to happen for you, come and stand behind him. The Lord is calling you, come and stand behind him. I will give you some envelope to sow a seed and place it under his feet. Amen. Come and stand behind him. I feel in my spirit. Sister, you took my mantle. Come and stand there. Come. There are four people remaining. Come and stand there. I see in the spirit. Listen. Are you part or you are just taking photos? Go, go and stand there. Go and stand there. The Lord says, as you are taking photos, heaven is taking a photo of you. Stand behind him. Jesus, my God. Ah! Ah! Psh. Sister, mommy, when was the first time they diagnosed you of the cancer? When was the first time? In April. In April of, of this year? No, May of this year. So April, May of this year. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Do you know what I saw? The cancer was given to her in 2013. 2013. Not now. 2013. Not now. 2013. Oh, Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, let, let me do something now. Give me this oil. Good. Uh, get me salt. Salt. Get me salt. We need to take cancer from her now. Is that, mommy? We can't afford to lose you. Yeah. Woman, yeah. we can't afford to lose you. Yeah. In my meetings, cancer leave. Cancer is going to yes. leave you now. Yes. We can't afford to lose you, mommy. Yeah. We can't afford to lose you. Yeah. Jesus. Give me the salt. Give me the salt. Put the salt in for me. Put it in for me. Jesus. Good. Now give me one of those bottled directions. Jesus! When Elisha got to Jericho, there was a situation there, but the salt and water brought a change. Father, take over. Father, take over. Father, take over. Pour it in, in it for me. Young man, young man, come. Call this young man for me. Are you living or you are staying? You are staying. You are not living. What do you do? I would just work. I don't I mean. Like what? I, I have a nonprofit that I'm trying to start. And uh, I work with the councilman in City Hall. And uh, I have a lot of ideas. So I do a lot. So it's big. I'm a visionary. I'm a dreamer. You know that you're a dreamer. That's what you said. So you're a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. You're a visionary. I'm a visionary. Are you sure? I'm positive. Everybody look at this young man. Who knows this young man? Who is he to you? Your son. You've given birth to one of the men that will change the reproach of the city. He will change the course of the city. And I see this boy, he will be walking in and out of the White House. This boy's destiny is big. Bring him to me here. Bring him to me here. Bring him to me here. This boy's destiny is big. This boy's destiny is big. But the Lord says, the boy has lost direction. 
the boy is moving helder skelter he has missed his destiny but he has a big destiny and the Lord says I should bring it back to him He feels and he knows that there is greatness inside of him. But he doesn't know how. The Lord says, Daniel, bring it out for him. Because it's like he is running. He is a runner. He is running, but his eyes are covered. So he's running very quick. But he doesn't have the sense of direction. That is what happened to this young man. Don't cry, my brother. God is going to change the story. <laughs> An angel came to stand here, and I saw Tyrone Jefferson. Who is called Jefferson? Who is that? Come. The way, the same way I'm praying for this young man, the Lord says, you carry a lot of vision, but the people to help you to fulfill it, it doesn't come. What? Wrong people have surrounded you. Wrong people have surrounded this young man. Wrong people have surrounded you. And the wrong people make you feel worthless. And the Lord says, I should take the wrong people from you. Oh, Jesus! Why did they name me?